Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Unit Lost, I'm Starlosa and today we're going to take a little look-see at a game called The Long Dark. Now what the hell is The Long Dark? Well, it's a, uh, it's a survival game, but a very hardcore survival game, uh, based in the Canadian kind of wilderness, which is obviously a massive space of nothingness, kind of, well not nothingness, of like, harsh wilderness. <laughs> and uh, y you just need to survive. So at the moment, you don't have access to the story mode. There will be a story mode, but it's not in the alpha. Um, so... You know, we don't have access to that. But what we do have access to is the sandbox. But what I will show you before we get into the sandbox is I'll show you the options. Um, interestingly, there's a field of view slider, which is good. Um, you can see I've changed mine up to about 85-ish. I kind of prefer, like, I mean, 90, I don't know. I kind of, like, I'm not really bothered. Anything kind of past, past 80 is kind of okay for me, so that's fine. I, we can change the resolution. We've got the quality settings. Um, the metrics, well, the units, which is interesting. We have a metric or imperial. Um, I will be having a metric because I cannot work imperial out in my head. It is frightening, ladies and gentlemen. Good God. Um, and obviously full screen. Controls, yeah, you know, very limited. I think the reason why the display options are so limited is because this is a Unity game. So there is a... Um, I think that's that's kind of the cause. Of that. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. The game looks decent as it is. But I'm going to get into it and we're going to go into the uh, survival sandbox mode. Now... I've loaded this up a couple of times just to get to grips with this because the last thing I want to do is go in blind to a game like this, which I know is complicated um, and just look like a total idiot. So I can tell you that it does appear to be um, randomly generated. So the first time I started off by train tracks, the second time I was kind of just in the middle of nowhere and it was also day. Um, and yeah, it, it's not been snowing before. So... What the hell do we need to do? Well, we need to survive. I mean, we've got a couple of options available straight away. So if I look at... if I, well, What I've done is I've pressed tab. You can see how long we survived for. We get a load of different things. So it feels like it's minus nine. <laughs> the air temperature, you've got wind chill. Um, it kind of shows you where the, the, clo uh, the, the wind's coming from. How many calories you burn in an hour. So if you just start sprinting around you're going to lose a lot of calories. And you're obviously, you know, you, you wouldn't do that in the wilderness, would you? You wouldn't run around and sprint. You would, you would die, you know what I mean? What the hell? You'd have to take your time sort of thing. Um, what I did notice is this. This is kind of interesting. So you can forage for wood. Now, this is automatic. So you can decide if you've, if you've got a tool, which I don't have one. Um, and you can increase or decrease the time. And you will go around and look for wood. But this is automatic, okay? It will burn calories, yeah? You obviously, you get calories from food. Uh, but we don't need to do that at the moment, I don't think, because I think we might have enough stuff to start a fire anyway. No, we don't. We need fuel. Can you hear that? That's a wolf. You can get attacked by wolves. We do not want to get attacked by wolves, okay? Um, oh, we can't actually do that. Okay. That's interesting. Map. Okay, so obviously a lot of this is kind of not available in alpha. So we've got like some stuff to start off with. So we've got like antibiotics, bandages, gloves, you know, and flare and jeans and whatever. Um, nothing amazing, but we, we really need to go out now and see if we can find anything. But I know there's wolves over there. I don't really want to go over there because if the wolves find me, that'd be bad. So I think the first thing you need to do is kind of look for something. Well, there we go. There's like a, a cabin lodge place down there. Um... So, I, like, the natural gamer instinct in me is to sprint towards this location, but that's not the right thing to do, because this is a survival game, guys. You know, you have to think, what what would you do to survive? You wouldn't sprint down there. You'd slowly take your time down there. What happens if I fall over? You know, what, I injure myself. You just, you can't risk it. It's just too risky. Although, having said that, in the couple of games I have loaded up, I haven't actually seen anything like this. So, this could be, we could have hit the jackpot, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay, so it's a logging camp. Can I do anything with this? No. Ah. Okay, so we've actually gone in. Oh, okay. This is. I think we've. I think we have literally hit the jackpot. Oh, uh, that's a ski jacket. I guess they haven't finished the uh, um graphic for that so here it is okay so here's the down ski jacket so you can see it's got a condition of 21 percent. so it's not the best but it does have a uh you know warmness boost and stuff like that we can wear it because i don't think we've got a uh, jacket on so if we stick that on uh i think we should be okay i think anyway i don't think we've taken anything off all right um 
So it's basically just all about survival. We need to find stuff which can help us out. Um, I could go to sleep, actually. You know what? Uh, I will take that. I think... Oh, dear. A dead guy. <laughs> like, I think it would probably be a good idea to actually go to sleep. Cotton long underwear. Now, I've already got that. But I'll take it because that might be in better condition. So let's just check. Is it in better condition? Cotton long, 74%, 85%. No. So I don't want that. I'll get rid of it. Um, newsprint. We like can. This has been here a while. I didn't actually realize the guy spoke. Uh, we can use that to use it as a, like a, I think it actually might class as fuel. Yeah, it might do. Um, but yeah, like, okay, so let's just think about this for a moment. We know it's, it's, we'll go back outside. We know, we know, we know, we know it's snowing real bad. We don't really want to go keep walking around outside because we're going to get cold. We're going to get damp. And, well, it's not going to be too good for our health, is it? I thought the game had crashed then, but I guess it hadn't. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, it's still snowing. This isn't good. So, I'm going to go back into this building, and I'm going to go to sleep. And, uh, there we go. Okay, so. Uh, it's going to be dark. I don't think we should really go to sleep Twelve hours in bed. No, you know what? Let's just take a let's take a three-hour rest. Okay. It may be dark. I'm not sure. It possibly will be. Ooh, we'll find out, ladies and gentlemen. Good God, we'll find out. Okay. So let's go see if it's raining outside. Well, not raining. What? See if it's snowing outside. Hopefully, it's stopped. But it may be dark, which obviously is going to bring other hazards with it. We don't really want it to be dark. And I'm not entirely sure this is recording at the moment, so I'll have to check this in the edit thing. But this will sound really weird if it is working because I won't... Well, you, you guys will hear it. What? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's kind of starting to get uh, a little bit dark. Kind of dusk is on the way. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to... Check all of these buildings to see if there's actually any food or anything we can take. So, all what right. We here? Mountain soda, newsprint, yep. Bed. Plastic container, what do we have? More food, that's good, that's good. Um, can opener, I, that's really good. A heavy wool sweater, maybe we can put that on. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay. I think I like I think we've hit the jackpot here. <laughs> this is like every other time I've loaded the game in, I've literally been in the middle of nowhere and there's been nothing for me, like quite literally nothing. Oh my god, energy bar. Okay. Okay, newsprint. So in the sandbox mode. No oh, no no hang on. Obviously the whole point of it is to see how long you can survive for. See, I'm getting kind of thirsty. I'm not cold or fatigued, but I am getting thirsty. But I do have soda. So. Ooh, okay. Crafting tools. That's pretty good. I don't think there's anything else in here. No, okay. Let's go check the other... I think there's another two buildings. We'll go and check them and see what we can find. Uh, and then I think what I'm going to need to do is... Or maybe I'll drink the soda, because I guess that really doesn't kind of matter. I, I, I am kind of half thirsty, if that makes any sense. I, I Oh. It is getting kind of dark, and it's starting to snow again. Okay, let's... um, Let's drink that. Okay, so that's plus 350 calories, and our thirst has gone down a little bit. Okay, so... It, it, I think I'm going to need to bed down for the night because uh, we don't know what might happen. I'm, okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. Let's just quickly have a look. What do we have? Yeah. Okay. Uh, open all the containers. Find all the stuff. Cloth. Ooh. 
I could use this. Ah. I think tender. Whoa, this is gonna get a lot of water. I think. I think. Whoa. I think tender. Uh, newspaper acts the same as tender. I don't think I can see anything there. Okay. Well, I think I'm safe inside the building, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna just go to sleep. We want to wake up in the morning, so let's say 6 a.m. Okay. Hmm. But we've been really, really lucky. Okay. So we've survived for a day, which is pretty good. But, like, look at this. I'm severely dehydrated. But it doesn't really matter because I've got a load of water. So I guess I can drink that down. Where is it? Ooh, there it is. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened to it. I've got 82% condition. You know what? Let's eat some food as well because I think we've got quite a, quite a bit. So if I... Go for the... I thought I had a can of food from somewhere. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Right, okay. Can opener degraded to 61. So the can opener is actually broken. At, well, not totally broken, but it has taken damage. Which uh, is pretty interesting because what's it made out of? You know, can openers usually last quite a long time, but whatever. Maybe it's an old rusty can opener, which would make sense because it's been found in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> well, I think I need to press on. I don't, have I seen all of the... Yeah, I, have, I, haven't, I haven't been into the uh, the kind of wooden shack thing. I'll go into that and we'll, we'll see what's going on. And then... Uh... Okay. We'll sprint over there. Yeah. Can you notice my calories burn faster? Now oh, the overlay's gone. Oh, hello. Also, I'm warmer because that's like I've got shelter from the wind. But uh, this guy, I well, didn't really help him. Take that. Ooh, fire log. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Okay. Well, I think it's kind of become quite apparent that even though this is a good area and that there is shelter, it's pretty hard for me to, to survive here almost. Unless I can somehow find my way back. So I'm not going to... What's wrong? I'm not going to... Uh... Hmm, I don't, I don't know. I think I'm going to head this way and see if I can find it. Okay. Uh, I think that's a wolf. In fact, there's a pack of wolves over there, which is uh, probably quite bad. Because they're probably going to try and kill me. Um... Let's see if I can actually craft anything at the moment. Uh, log repair. Yeah, I have no afflictions. D oh, okay. So I can actually... Oh, this is interesting. So I can actually break down things I have. So... I think that's some sort of a, uh, a hat. So now I have cloth. But like I'm really... Re oh shit, have I just taken off my helmet? Die helmet. Yeah. Maybe I did. No, I've got one on. It must be really cold. Oh shit, it's minus 34. Yeah, so this isn't... This isn't a good idea to be outside. Uh, <laughs> in this weather. So let's, uh, let's get back in. Holy hell. It must be really, really cold because the sun... Uh, hasn't fully come up yet, so I don't know. Let's let's just rest until 10 a.m. But like, can you see what this game is all about, guys? Obviously, it isn't feature complete or anything because it's still an alpha. But you can see how this is very much like an actual survival simulator. It's not. It isn't like uh, I guess gamified. You know what I mean? It's like I, I was literally outside there, and I I would have died if I carried on uh, even for a few more minutes. It was minus 34 degrees, and I've got no really heavy duty cold weather equipment have I? I've just got like bits and pieces I, I've, I found and like a wool jumper it's not really going to help me is it? <laughs> okay so maybe it's not as cold now. It's minus 17 degrees. Let's you know what let's see if it changes if I stand in the sun hmm seems a little bit iffy okay let's uh let's head this way 
Okay, I'm definitely in the sun now, so it should be warmer. No, it still feels like minus 22, which is pretty bad. There's also a deer over there or some sort of... But I don't know how to make any hunting equipment or, you know, like a bow and arrow or something like that. I think that that is going to come straight. You know what? I'll show you this, guys. This will be pretty funny. I think this will attack me. Yeah. So you have to build up your strength and then attack. And then attack. And then attack. And I might actually die. Oh, 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 oh. I think I'm dead. No. I managed to smack the wolf in the mouth. Which uh, I am not in a very good condition, ladies and gentlemen. It has to be said. I've got blood loss. Uh, which is bad. So I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can uh, first aid myself. Blood loss. So the remedy is to... Christ. Apply a bandage, take antibiotics, and then rest for six hours. So maybe I should do that. <laughs> uh, bandage, use... But I suppose sometimes you can't always do everything. I have got a lot of antibiotics as well. Okay. So I would imagine, like, using the environment to your... Or, like, environmental markers and things is going to be... Kind of key to survival. So, I mean, like... If you'd seen this sign, you would know that there is some sort of a logging operation... In this area, or that there is at some time in the year. So you would travel around. Obviously, we found the place, so, you know, we know that's there. Um, so... Cold. So yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll show you. I'll show you how uh, you. I'll make a fire basically. Okay. Uh, I think I have. Yeah, you come with an accelerant, so I'm going to use that. Uh, I'm going to use wooden matches, tinder plug, fire log. Holy. Okay. Okay. And we've actually got a skill up off that as well. So we won't be freezing as much now, I don't think. If we stay near this fire... But obviously this is a really stupid place to start the fire. I mean... You know, I mean, what's the point of that? But I would imagine, like, the next thing... Or what I would be looking to do is somehow... Kill these animals for the meat. And, and kind of progress from there. But I mean, this is just the survival sandbox mode. So you just need to survive as long as possible. And I can tell you right now... Oh, that's a flare. Uh, this is the record. 18 hours and 50 whatever minutes. I've I've never managed to survive that long. Which shows you like how unforgiving the game is. And I've like I've had a really good start there, but because I'm a total noob and I don't really know what I'm doing. Um I I think I've kind of thrown it well, I've obviously thrown it away, putting a fire down and all that. But I did that for you guys, you know, so that's my excuse. But yeah, I think that was a really good start. Well, you know what? Let, you know, let's um Let's start a new game and see where it puts us this time. Maybe it won't be as uh, as easy. But I do kind of like this, guys. I can see where they're going with this. And I do think there isn't really anything on this kind of level at the moment. Obviously, there are there are quite a few survival horror-style games out there. But, but this is kind of... Isn't really like that. Although I think there are certain liberties they've taken. Because there is like a natural disaster which has happened. Uh, so some things will change up. But... It's probably the most realistic experience you're going to get if you're after pure survival. You know, just you against the wilderness sort of thing. So, yeah, where I am now, there's there's nothing. I mean, like, I I guess I'll sprint down here and see if there's anything at the bottom of this uh, kind of, I don't know, crevice or whatever the hell this is. <laughs> Uh, well, I'd say that it does look like some sort of logging has been going on around here because there's a lot of stumps. You see tree stumps all over the place. So there must be some sort of a... Oh, it looks like there may be something over there, like a, a cabin of some description. Maybe that's just a... I don't actually know what that is. Is that a signpost? I don't know. Let's work our way down to it. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, I think this is kind of... that What they're going after here is very much a... Bear grills type of thing, you know what I mean? It's like you have to survive, and you've got to look around, be observant, and kind of make the best decisions to make yourself last as long as possible. And I would imagine, ultimately, 
find rescue. Um, and I don't. I, I really. I'm struggling to think of any other game which actually gives you that in that kind of kind of capacity. Um, because obviously you've got things like the forest. Uh, I guess Daisy and stuff like that. But that's not really. They are survival, but they're also like they're a little bit different, aren't they? You know what I mean. <laughs> so it looks like there's something up here. So I mean, obviously you would think, well, okay, let's head this way. There may be some sort of a a hunting lodge or something, a holiday resort place. I don't know. You know what? Let's see if we can find it. Oh, I mean, visually, I think this looks kind of nice. I do, I do like the uh, I do like the style of it. I mean, it's obviously kind of basic, but I I do like the style of it. The sound as well sounds pretty nice. Which is obviously going to be a big thing. Because, you, you know, they need to simulate you being lost in the wilderness. And sound is a big thing. You know, a big part of that. Listening out for wild animals. Listening out for your guy yawning. <laughs> well, I think this just keeps going up, up and up. But even if we didn't see the sign, I mean, we do have, have to find some place to escape this cold. Oh my god, we do know that there is signs of human life, or there has been around here because there's fences. So we would be like, oh, okay, maybe this is a uh, a frozen over road. But we do know that there is something up here anyway, because well, we, there's a sign pointing in this direction. So there must be, I guess, at the top of this uh, hill or mountain, whatever the hell it is. Mm, we're getting cold. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and we want to be careful not to fall off. I mean, even the smallest drop can cause you injury. Like you can, I, I had a sprained ankle, and that was pretty bad. Yeah. So okay, this. If I don't warm up soon. This is pretty interesting. So we found a lookout. Okay. And I think we've managed to slightly save ourselves. But I mean, the only, you could say, well, Sty, that was a bit obvious. There was a big sign, so you ran towards it, but. If I hadn't gone this way, I probably would have died. <laughs> and it looks like there's a ton of resources in it. Ooh, rifle ammunition. Okay, weaponry. Ooh, I wonder if there's... Ah, look at that, a hatchet. Beef jerky. Oh my god, like, we've, we've, we've hit the jackpot. And even found a stove. So this... You know what? I'm gonna end the video here, guys, because I think you get I think you understand what is what this game's all about, and I think this is actually pretty good. Um I would say it looks like i I do really feel like I'm in a wilderness. I feel like I'm I need to survive. And I found a wolf down there. But I found a, a place where I can I can survive, you know? And I and I, I would probably work around this area and keep coming back to it because well there's a stove. Radio doesn't work, but there's, you know, this is shelter. I can survive, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't know, I think it's pretty good, guys. What I want you to do is let me know in the comments below. Um, what do you think about this game? Uh, did you back it on Kickstarter? Um, you can actually get the game right now if you go to intothelongdark.com. Uh, they are selling early access for 19 99 and you will get the same version I've got here. Um, it is coming to Steam quite soon, I think, um, in its early access state, and obviously they'll keep um, updating the game and adding various things into it. Um, but it looks like there's a goddamn blizzard outside. But I think we'll leave it at that, guys. So this is uh, The Long Dark. I've been Stylo, so this is Unit Lost. If you like the video, then subscribe to the channel and all of that good stuff. And uh, check all the Unit Lost links out, like the Patreon stuff and the, the Twitter and all of that stuff. And uh, I'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo.